Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of how to remove uh, the internal drive from a uh, 5 terabyte uh, external backup, Seagate Backup Plus. Pretty straightforward really. Uh, and we're going to do this, we have the proper tools to do this, but we're going to assume you don't. So uh, what, I've take, what I've got here is a small screwdriver and that's really the only tool I'm going to use. Okay, so if you have a small screwdriver slotted, uh, that's the way to go. Uh, if you don't, just use whatever you got. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is just crack this open. There we go. Pop this out. I don't care about the box. I don't care about the packaging. And I don't care about the USB disc or the uh, <laughs> USB cable. Or the plastic. There we go. Now, uh, this is a plastic base. And as you can see, there are no screws, and it has a metal aluminum uh, chassis top. And what they've done to keep this in is they have a uh, set of double-sided, uh, not a set, they have double-sided tape all the way around here. So what you really should use is um, phone tools like this. If, you, if you've got them, use that. All you do is put them in between the, the edge here and slide along. I'm going to assume you don't, and I'm going to use a screwdriver. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of damage here, but nothing too serious. Um, so, and it'll straighten out as soon as you uh, pry it back, pop it back on if you replace it. So, if you don't care about the, uh, about the, about the chassis, uh, if you don't want to reuse this, then just mangle it. There's, you won't damage the disc for sure. If you do want to reuse it, and I do, and I'm going to show you how to put a disc back in it, then, um, you know, do it pretty. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, on one of the longer sides, I'm going to pop this, separate the uh, plastic from the aluminum. And I'm going to twist, just twist. You can hear that tape breaking, and that's what I want. And I'm just going to do that all the way around here. Um, as I've said, it's a, it's just double-sided tape. So once you've got it open at all, you should be able to just pry it up. And yes, it'll bend a bit. Don't worry about it. Um, so I'm going to take this side now, and I'm going to do the same thing with it, which is just twist, just twist back and forth. Twist back and forth. There we go. And now you can see the double-sided tape in there around the inside, and that's all you're trying to pull off. So let's just get that going. There we go. So there's an aluminum lid, double-sided tape, small amount of damage, nothing much, nothing too serious. Now you'll see in here there are these bumpers that keep it from moving around, and uh, there's also a, um, an extension on the end of this disc which uh, provides the USB uh, access from the outside. Uh, we're going to reuse all of this, but in a slightly different way. And the, the reason is, the disc that we, uh, we're going to pull out will look like this, and you can see how thick it is. And we're going to replace it with a smaller disc, uh, the slimline disc. So you can see the difference in size. Right? So it's quite a difference. Okay, anyway, so let's get to it. So um, here's the uh, five terabyte disc. And uh, there's no screws holding this in, so what you do is you put, grab your screwdriver, put it in at the end, and just twist a little bit, and it will pop out. You won't damage it, don't worry about it. You don't have to be very careful with it. Yes, you should, but you, won't, you don't have to. Okay, so there it is, and slide it. Now be careful to do it from the end that doesn't contain the USB port. Do it from the other end. Obviously, that USB port is, uh, is in the plastic, so prying it out would not be a good idea. Start from the end that doesn't have it. So pry it up, and then slide it. Back. There we go. And all these little rubber parts fall off. And we're going to use those in a rather odd way when we're done. If you're, um, if you're going to put in a, another thick disc in here, another full-size 2.5 inch disc, then you want to take note of the bumpers. Uh, put the bumpers, you know, they go in the corners and so on and so forth. Uh, if you're going to do what we're going to do, don't worry about it. Just toss them all in. So I'm going to pull off all of this, these rubber... Uh, bumpers and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the tape off. So this foil uh, has, uh, you don't really need the foil by the way, It's uh, but on principle we'll reuse it, we have it, why not? So what you want to do is just grab a corner of it, probably with your fingernail. Yes, you can use proper tools. Well, there's a bunch of proper tools, but, uh, but easiest just to use your fingernail. And this is just tape So uh, on the top here. So what you want to do is um, if you have any troubles, you can just use a screwdriver, and you'll see when we get down to this end that you pretty much have to use a screwdriver or something something flat and small. So there we go. So I've got that started. 
and then I'm just going to pry it up all the way around. Uh, I don't have to worry about this. I don't need this, but it doesn't cost anything. It's already here, so I'm going to be careful enough with it that I can reuse it. Uh, if you don't uh, want to reuse it, then don't. Okay, so let's pull this out. Same thing, start at the corner. There we go. And just keep taking it off. Take it all off. All right. So, there we go. Now you're going to see when we get down to the corner here, it's going to be a problem because these little... Uh, the black rubber stuff uh, stoppers don't come off evenly, so look, when I pull that, you can see it's tearing. And while it's hardly the end of the earth, eh, I just soon keep it clean. So I'm going to tear that off like that, and then I'm going to pull this around and over that USB port, and then instead of trying to pry it off this way, I'm just going to pull it back. Um, if it tears, it tears. I'm not too worried about it. But I don't think it will. There we go. There we go. There we go. In case you're wondering, because there's always people that ask this question, oh yeah, you just voided the hell out of your warranty. So, <laughs> just take note. Okay, so here's all the components. Now we've got it apart. Plastic chassis, bumpers, lid. You've got um, foil covering, and you've got the disc with uh, an extension on it. So what you do is just use your fingers and pry this out just like you would in the other disc. And you can see really that's an extender with a chip that allows it to be used externally. It's nothing tremendously complex. Okay, so let's um, put this aside. Now I'm going to use this disc in a completely different purpose, which we're not going to get into today because it's not relevant. And I'm going to take this very, you can see how thick that was, and you can see I'm going to take the slimline disc, and I'm going to put it on, I'm going to reassemble it with that in. So let's go and do that. So I take this little extender, there we go, pop that in. I take this, I put it through the USB, the hole that the USB had, there we go, and uh, I'm going to tape this all down, although again I don't really have to, tape it down being, I'm just going to fold it over I should say, and use it the way it was previously. All it does is protect the circuit board, just so you know, but because you're up against plastic and there's no metal parts in here, it's, it's kind of pointless. Anyway. Uh, engineers do this for a living to figure out why these things are here, so it doesn't cost you anything, why not reassemble it properly. So there we go. So that's all done. Now that you think to yourself, well, uh, let's dump out all of that plastic. If I put this disc in, it's going to be loose on the bottom. So let's just do that, and I'll show you how I solve that. Um, what we've got is we've got this disc and this chassis, and you can see the hole at the end. And what I'm going to do is slide the USB port through there, the extender, there we go. Slide that in firm, and let me just show you something. Um, that sucker is in there pretty tight. It's not going anywhere. So these bumpers, while they're good to have, uh, I have a better use for them, and that is to put them on top, because I need something to make this thicker, because I don't want it flopping up and down. You can see the gap there. I don't want that flopping up and down. So I need to put something in here. So I'm going to take all of these real rubber uh, spacers and uh, bumpers and just pop them in and you think wow you're just putting garbage in there yeah yeah I'm just gonna put garbage in there and um, now the lid it's double-sided tape and it's still sticky so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on and I'm going to push it down all the way around nice and, nice and flush and bingo bongo if you didn't know better you think that was a brand new disc. Boy, that's a little bit more damage than I'd like, but still fine. Um, yeah. Now, I've done this a bunch of times, so I can tell you, you take this to your uh, PC, plug it in with USB 3 cable, and it's back up. The, um, oh, I put this on backwards. <laughs> okay, so there, that's frustrating. So let me pull this off again. Hopefully the tape hasn't set. Oh, uh, okay. I say it's on backwards, because see that little mark there? That's a light. That's a hole for the light. So let's just go back here. And that little light section, that little uh, line, which is right there, needs to be uh, lined up right here. There's an LED right there that shines. shines um, there's an LED right there that turns on and shines inside the case, and that lights up through that, uh, through that hole. So 
By the way, don't worry about it if you get it backwards. Just the light doesn't work if that's the case. You won't see it. But it doesn't make much difference. So anyway, but now it's perfect. So there you go. Yeah, so um, you could get that to somebody and they'd have probably very little idea that you swapped it out at your disc. Okay, so that's how you disassemble and reassemble a Seagate Backup Plus, in this case a 5 terabyte disc, 2.5 inch. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.